Hey, ladies, stay tuned if you want to watch me go from this to this. Here is my curl and my braid out from undoing my braids and taking my wig off before I wash. I've washed my hair now, of course, with shampoo and conditioner. And here is my shrinkage. It's horrible. When it's wet, it's a little bitty afro. So this is my wide tooth comb and my clips, or you can use bobby pins. Here's my blow dryer. I think I got that at Sally's, but it is a beast. You're gonna part your hair in four sections to prepare for detangling. The smaller the section, the better it is to detangle your hair. I'm gonna knot that up and place my pin, and I'm gonna do that for the rest of my head. This is Jamaican black castor oil for my scalp. That's coconut oil for my ends. This is the castor oil in lavender. I'm gonna take just a little drop of that, and that's about a quarter size on my hand, and I'm gonna use that for my whole back section. I'm gonna section off with my fingers, no uniform way, and I'm going to go all the way up until my scalp is oiled. Here, I'm taking that back section and I'm gonna part it into two. And I'm gonna comb it starting from the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up. That is how you keep from pulling all your hair out. That, ladies, is the correct way to comb your hair. This is a lymph check before I start to blow dry. With a fine rat tail comb, I'm gonna comb down and hold the end. I'm gonna pull, stretch, and I'm gonna blow dry up and down slowly. Now this is for a better view. So again, I'm gonna take the front part, section it off in two, and I am going to take my oil and just dab it on there. Whatever comes out is what I am left with to use so that's about a quarter size or so and with that I'm going to oil my scalp and you have to be careful how much you put on there because you don't want to come out looking like a wet dog to pump first and I blow dry and that's just so I won't pull so much hair out and then I go back once I feel like it's straight enough for me to go through with a small comb and that is just to kind of get those extra kinks out of there and I'm looking a mess ladies today I just was not ready to put any lashes or makeup or anything gone this is not about being cute this is about trying to get these hairs together the right and proper way so I'm still just blow drying here until I get it as straight as I can with the blow dryer. And that is just to keep me from having to put so much um, force and heat on it with the flat iron and having to go over it over and over again. This is the finished look of my blow dried hair and this is me in my little on world and video. <laughs> I was in the video guys. So after blow drying I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to put them back into four sections. Remember the four section rule is going to save your life. The smaller the pieces, the straighter your hair will be and the easier it is to maintain. So here is the nape of my uh, hair. I had an undercut so it's trying to uh, grow so I got a little excited. Here is a better view of me and how I straighten my whole hair. I put the comb in front of the flat iron so I can comb through my hair while I'm flat ironing and straightening it. And it helps it get bone straight without you having to go over it multiple times. Also make sure you go over it slowly. And I'm gonna take a next section and I'm gonna do it again. If your hair is shorter than mine, then you can take shorter pieces. However much time you feel like taking on it, 
It's perfectly fine with me. It's all about you getting your hair as straight as you would like it to be. But always, always try to use the comb first. Um, it's kind of hard at first, but you'll get it down. Here is that piece and how straight it is. See? And I'm just going to repeat these steps all the way until I get at the top of my head. This is the blow dried piece versus the flat iron piece. That is the back limb chest. So it's, it's about to my bra strap. And I'm just gonna repeat again. And with the top part, because I can see a little bit better and I know my hair, sometimes you'll see me using the comb and flat ironing. And then sometimes you'll just see me flat ironing. But again, I'm gonna put the comb down first, comb through it. And then I am going to flat iron and straight as I'm pulling. I'm going to go down slowly. And that is the small section that I feel comfortable with using. Now look how straight that's getting. Just take your time. Now when it comes down to my edges, I part those off and then I single, um, single it out and really pay attention to my edges. Voila, here is the results from that front side that I did. And I mean like, ladies, you don't need a perm. All you need is some good flat irons and a blow dryer. And here is my end and my lymph check. So it's coming to my um, armpit in the front and in the back it is to my bra. Here I'm just showing you my edges and how sleek and straight my edges could be even without a perm. So I'm going to comb it out for you guys here to see how straight it has gotten. And yeah, that is all I do to straighten my hair. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Like, thumbs up, comment, and let me know if you want to see anything else pertaining to hair. Thanks!